First and foremost, I think of Bill Yerkes as having some magical capabilities. He loves sunlight and the fact that it creates this boundless energy. Well, I guess you'd call him the Henry Ford of photovoltaics. He was the real father of this modern solar industry. I met Bill at his company. I worked there quite briefly as a librarian. We were married for almost 33 years. It was his vision that drove him. He could see down the road, and that's where he was always going. His background was in engineering. He went to Stanford's engineering school and got a degree in mechanical engineering. His father was an architect, and Bill, of course, an engineer, and his father called him a bolt tightener. Bill was hugely engaging as an individual who's not only technically passionate, but incredibly human. The basic history dates back to 1974. At the time of the first oil embargo, Bill Yerkes' reaction to the oil crisis and saying that we ought to scale up the manufacturing of solar. At that point in time, there were no people doing research in photovoltaics for use on Earth. I learned how to do solar cells for space and I had ideas at the time that I could do these a lot cheaper. Bill said, I think the real future in solar photovoltaics is on Earth. So Bill started working for a group called Spectra Labs, where he became president. Bill helped them sell Spectra Lab to Hughes, and as soon as Hughes bought Spectra Lab, they fired Bill. And so he decided to start his own company and he said he was going to be bigger than Hughes. Bill borrowed some money from his family and a few friends and started what was called Solar Technology International. He got some girls. He said they used to work at Taco Bell. And he had the whole production set up. And within months, he was delivering solar panels. And he thought, I can use this technology for a lot more applications on the Earth rather than space applications. And solar technology was born. And in 1976, ARCO bought the company. I think the fact that these people at ARCO decided to go along with this would be the last thing that you would expect an oil company to do. So we were really kind of lucky in a way. The personality of the company was largely driven by Bill Yerkes. You know, he has a vision of what he wanted to do, and he wanted done everything yesterday, and he thought of it today. He was able to engage with folks who shared that same spirit of enthusiasm for taking on something that seemed nearly impossible. He knew the nuts and bolts of it. He was hands-on. The main technological contribution that Bill planted are the use of screen printing for contacts and packaging with a tempered sheet of glass, similar to a windshield. Bill also founded the first automated plant. He industrialized solar and changed the world. That personal touch is, I think, what's affected all of us who had the opportunity of being able to work with Bill Yerkes. What made Bill Yerkes a success was his reaching out to help people who did not have power. That was the major thing that we went for to go to places where we could fill a need. That kind of a thinking that we're going to invest not for today, but for tomorrow, that was a bold move. The passion that drove Bill throughout his life uh, continued up till the passing of his life. All of those solar panels that are around the world, they're part of a standing testament to the legacy that Bill brought to Solar World. Solar World is one of the larger companies in the world doing this sort of thing. It's something I started and I'm pleased to have contributed to from the beginning. <laughs>